My name is Ellie Hatcher, and I go to Eagle Middle School, and my weather question is, what makes tornadoes spin faster, and what makes them stop? Ellie, that is a great question. In fact, that is a question that does not have a definitive answer, even as far as we are with advanced technology right now. We are still researching the uh, inner mechanics of how a tornado works. We have a general idea, and that idea has changed and kind of morphed over time, but it's a great question. Exactly how do they form and actually spin faster? Well, we can talk about how they spin faster. This is what the way we believe they form right now. In the mid-levels of the atmosphere, we have wind shear, wind going in one direction at one speed, and above that, maybe going in a different direction at a higher speed, and you can get a rotating column of air that, as because we have updrafts going into this thunderstorm that's nearby causing the storm to form you have updrafts and downdrafts and between the two that is typically where we have right with the updraft is it pulls up that cylinder and makes it vertical here and then the the, the the whole storm system starts to spin and we can get that column of air coming down now you have a certain amount of energy that's pushing the wind speed around and if something is going 100 miles an hour in a big circle when you have the same amount of force forcing that wind to go around. When you tighten that circle up, everything starts to spin faster. The speed, the energy is preserved, and so you have to make something else increase, and so the speed of the tornado will, will increase as that thing tightens up and gets more organized, and that's certainly what happens here. So it's a difficult call. What makes the tornadoes dissipate? Well, typically what's going to happen is outflow, when you get cold, uh, the storm system rises and cool air comes rushing out of it. If that cool air gets entrained into this into the actual funnel itself, it will tend to kill the thunderstorm and all of the mechanics disappear and the tornado will tend to dissipate. But even that, still being studied today with all the storm chasers we have, look at the size of this tornado. It doesn't have to be a large tornado to have the strongest winds, but this one here, likely an EF3. You can get the snaking looking tornadoes as you see right in here. And these can inflict a lot of damage as well, but it's over a little bit smaller of a scale. The general time frame for a tornado on average is only 10 minutes. It could be just a few seconds to over an hour, but typically it's around 10 minutes. And this tornado is a, a viewer took this picture in the Magic Valley and set this on in. This is a tornado that moved on through the Magic Valley. So great question from Ellie. We'll have more questions coming up uh, in the upcoming weeks from all the kids. Excellent questions. You can get them, by the way, at IdahoOnYourSide.com. Go to weather and click on the weather blog, and you'll see all the questions, over 80 of them answered so far this school season. Let's move on and take a look at what's happening.